atmospheric pressure how do we understand the atmosphere what is meant by atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure at a point is nothing but it is the weight of the air column extending from that point to uh, atmosphere and having area of cross section unity means uh, now only we derived a, a formula that p2 minus p1 is equal to rho gh p2 minus p1 is equal to rho is the density that is mass by volume into gh p2 minus p1 is equal to m by the volume can be written as a for a cylinder a into h area of cross section into height into g into h h will be cancelled now p2 minus p1 is equal to mg by a now for a fluid in inside a fluid if you imagine a cylinder of height h now the top surface pressure is p1 on the bottom surface pressure is p2 now if we imagine it is earth around earth atmosphere is extending up to certain height now here we want to find the atmosphere pressure there you imagine a cylinder of a how much area of cross section a is equals to 1 meter square now at this point pressure is suppose p now p2 is equals to p now to what height pressure is extended atmosphere extended at this point uh, beyond this point there is no pressure so p1 is equals to 0 now at this point we want to find the atmosphere pressure now from this point uh, to the end of the atmosphere we imagine a cylinder is extended now for the cylinder we take the area of cross section unity now at this point uh, the pressure is p and uh, at the end of the atmosphere there beyond this uh, beyond this there is no atmosphere so that pressure p1 is equals to 0 by substituting here p minus 0 is equals to mg by area we consider 1 so p is equals to mg so we define that the pressure at a particular point is equal to the weight of the air column extending from this point to the end of the atmosphere now at this point we want to find the pressure atmosphere pressure now at this point atmosphere pressure is equal to the mg nothing but weight of the air column extending from that point to the end of the atmosphere having unit area of a cross section now in this way we find the atmosphere pressure we define the atmosphere pressure atmosphere pressure can be found using the mercury barometer the mercury barometer is constructed by the scientist Torricelli now the scientist Torricelli constructed the <coughs> mercury barometer now we see how to find the atmosphere pressure using the mercury barometer the mercury barometer contains a cylinder <coughs> glass tube cylindrical glass tube which is closed at one end and uh, which is uh, filled with uh, mercury and this is inverted into a mercury trough so this is the trough containing mercury into which we invert a glass tube uh, which is open at one end and closed at other end this is containing mercury and it is inverted into the mercury trough Our liquid level may fall down to particular height. Now this is a construction of the mercury barometer. Using this mercury barometer we find, we find the atmosphere pressure. Now let us see how do we find the atmosphere pressure. Now inside this glass tube above the mercury level there are mercury vapors these mercury vapors exerts a very less pressure suppose pressure exerted by the mercury vapor is a p and it is a very less it is negligible now here atmospheric pressure is acting let it be p a now we consider two points here one is capital a and there is b now the points a and b are at a same horizontal level so that according to Pascal's law if the points are at same horizontal level at those points uh, pressure will be same so pressure at a point capital A is equal to pressure at point capital B so pressure at a point capital A is equal to pressure at point B is the 
PA. Now, how to find the PA? Let me sum equation number one. Now we know that if we imagine a cylindrical part of height h in a fluid, on the top surface pressure is P1, on the bottom surface pressure is P2, then we write P2 minus P1 is equals to rho g h. Rho is the density of the fluid. If we compare with this, now it is a fluid column, mercury column of density rho having height h. Now P2 is the pressure at point A and P1 pressure at the top of the mercury column. Now by applying this formula, P2 nothing but pressure at A, pressure at A is equal to minus P1 means pressure on the top surface of this uh, mercury column that is small p is equals to rho is the density of this mercury and g into h h is the height of the mercury column in the glass tube now p is negligible why because this mercury vapors exerts a very small pressure so p is negligible now we write uh, p a is equals to rho g h but p capital a nothing but atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure p a is equals to rho g h now rho is the density of the mercury g is the acceleration due to gravity h is the height to which mercury is raised now at sea level generally at sea level mercury rises to height of uh, 76 centimeters at sea level mercury rises to a height of 76 centimeters now atmospheric pressure pa can be is given by density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square and height to which mercury rises at a sea level is 76 centimeters by convert this into meters 76 and 10 to the power minus 2 meters after calculation you get a 1.013 into 10 to the power of 5 unit of pressure is a pascal now it is also equal to 1 atmosphere means at a sea level atmosphere pressure is 1 atmosphere it is also equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals using this uh, mercury barometer we find the atmospheric uh, pressure generally usually atmospheric pressure is uh, expressed in terms of the height of the mercury column in the mercury barometer here we can also state that we can also give that atmospheric pressure at sea level is sea level is 76 centimeters of uh, Hg means 76 centimeters of uh, mercury in the mercury column. 76 centimeters of mercury can also be found using this formula. Rho gh, rho is the density of mercury, 13,600 kg per meter cube. G is 9.8, height is 76 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. After calculating this, you get the pressure value 1.013 in 10 to the power of 5 pascals. It is also taken as one atmosphere. In this way, using the mercury barometer we find the atmospheric pressure.